Article 27, sub Article 3, that states that women are exposed to 50% of chances in this nation. So we are not demanding, we are just asking our candidate to refer to that article and be generous and kind enough. And because we know he's, he's a man for, for women, he's a he for she, that he gives the deputy president role to the women of this republic and women of this republic will forever be grateful to him. He will go down in history as the one president who said that he will put who make a new paradigm shift and who will put women in the pedestal where they duly belong and the space that they have fought for for many years. And on that breath, I want to thank women who have gone before us, Charity Ngilu, Mama Mwiru here, um, Martha Karwa who was with us earlier, and many other women whose shoulders we stand on. It is through your struggles, it is through your sweat, your blood, and sometimes your tears that today we have these spaces as women to even have the confidence to then ask for the next step, which is the deputy president of this republic. This is just not a meeting about the deputy president of this republic. It's also a meeting where we are now bringing our thoughts together, having been in the grassroots, what are the things that have come out? We have been out in the campaign trail now two months, so we have grassroots women here, and we are sharing their insights. What are the things? It's a, it's a session where we are introspecting and asking ourselves, what are some of the things that are going very well in the Raila Amolo Odinga's campaign or in the Baba's campaign? What are the things we are not doing too well? How can we quickly, we only have a few days to the election, what can we quickly do to ensure a Baba presidency come August? And some of the things, if I may just highlight, some of the things that are coming out from the grassroots women is that women want to be involved not just in the political process, but also as stakeholders in the economic activities of this nation. Mm. Women want to be involved in the baking of the cake. Mm. For instance, uh, we have uh, the 30% AGPO opportunities. Mm. How many of them actually go to the women that deserve these opportunities mm. on the ground? And one of the wish lists we have for Baba is that Baba should have a proper training program for women to be trained on how to capitalize on these AGPO opportunities at the grassroots level. Mm -hmm. And that these spaces and uh, AGPO will be ring fenced even in his government. And the women movement will also be ready to be trained on how, for instance, to get those procurement opportunities so that then women can be partakers of the economic activities of this country. We're also saying um, as women that to, as we move into the next dispensation, women are looking at not only being partakers of the economic space, but also the political space. Like I have said, improving, we know we have been talking about the one third, two thirds general. And today the women are saying to us, we are not looking for one third anymore, we are looking for 50-50. We are looking for one is to one. We are looking for half of those opportunities. So even for procurement opportunities and economic opportunities, we want women to be considered at an equal level with our male counterparts. And we are saying this is more an approach that looks at it strategically and not a confrontational approach. We, are, we will not be on the streets. We will not be um, you know, doing those disgraceful things. We'll be going around the table with our male counterparts and re reasoning together so that then we can create sustainable space for women in the grassroots level. I thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you. Any questions? Yes. Sorry? Okay. Uh, what I can say is. Uh, it is under our constitution, uh, Article 27, 3 of our constitution, it's very clear that we as women, we have our 15. When you, when you used to have one that 
in the next dispens dispensation. Thank you. Uh, Governor Liu. Yes. How would you be able to you see any of that what you have talked about here <laughs> i think here you are seeing women yes. of kenya yes. only yes. and and the, and the, our, our First of all, these are all political parties. They are all in Azmio. Yes. And my party, NAC, whose leader is talking to you right now, is a party within Azmio. Yes. And we have the right to ask what is right, not only for our parties, but also for the people of Kenya. Yes. You know I've been out there campaigning for Azmio. You know I've been out there campaigning for women issues, for women representation. You have just heard about the issues that we brought out here on issues to do with the procurement to ensure that the 30% that of all the resources that go into procurement should be given to women physically ch challenged and the youth. So we are very different in the sense that we are people-centered organizations that are coming here. And the women issues are very different uh, from other issues. And that's why we are appealing. Yeah. Where you find men meeting, if you don't find woman's face, then you do not have proper representation of the nation. Yeah. And this is representing half the nation. Yeah. So it's not about me or I we are talking about the nation and the journey we are traveling. Yeah. So how is it different from furthering your differences? Me, here I have no difference. Do, have you seen any difference no. between me and the leadership yeah, here? No. If there is a person who has difference with who has any difference with me, me the difference is only about the issues that we represent and we have been representing issues about the people of this country, issues to do with poverty, issues to do with equal distribution of resources, issues to do with shared prosperity, doing here. And therefore, if they myself and alone, that is not where I belong. I belong to Kenya. I belong to ensuring that Kenya gets their equal share. Yeah. And we are looking at also the person who has been in the forefront fighting for the things that women have been fighting for. Yeah. And therefore, when we talk about, um, you know, Raila Amolo Odinga, we are talking about a person who has been tested, tried, and we can say, we'll support you wholeheartedly without looking this way, this way, that way. So I, I think here you need to look at the history of each one of us who are saying this is a direction to go. Well, yesterday there was a press conference where Carol Zambia said that he won the first member of the mandate him, the president, Raila Odinga, and a host of other staff members. Now you're making the same appeal to where an interested party can go. Would it be right to probably ask a interested party? We are... You have seen all the women who have been meeting here, and they are not only the ones who are standing here. I'm just saying that we have come together to look really to use to ensure from where they are in the villages, in the ensuring that we sell Baba's agenda. How a point manifesto, and we have looked. To the women of Kenya. That is why we are talking 
equal opportunities for all And the Katiba is very clear, and we have been fighting for this. Where two or three are gathered to talk about the Mideast, two-third gender rule which must apply. So there cannot be three men seated to make a decision. That is what we cannot be people who will sit to decide for Kenya without the faces of these women and other women outside there. That is where we are today. 